this computer. Things get lost in the cloud. Please thank you for this one. Oh, That's all right. All right, let's take a few moments. Just sit with the feet straight down underneath, just like whew, big deep breaths. It's so nice that it was a little bit cool. I know. Uh, I put the screen on the big window behind you. It's been kind of packed away for a long time, but I had to clean it up. That was not pretty. It's the screen. And had the windows open and the attic fan on. And it was awesome. It felt so good. I am, my sister's kind of in her menopause state. And so she comes to my house and she's like, it's just hot in your house. So let's make circles. And so yesterday was kind of perfect. Attic being on, the back door open, this window open. I mean, it could not. And it, was, it didn't get too hot. It didn't get too hot. It was just kind of perfect. So let's make circles. I mean, big enough too that when you lean back, you feel your core engage. Slight, gentle, holding the low ribs in. You might have like Kundalini style. So let's do this for two minutes. That feels good on my sacrum. I can actually, my sitting bone on the right butt cheek is really digging into the chair. I am. Um, I haven't had an adjustment in a long time. So I scheduled my adjustment with Denny. I'm going to do an adjustment and dry medium because I am so sore. I need him. Yeah, I think so too. And then I will be in Frisco this weekend or this Thursday. And so I've got a little scope of time between my two appointments there. I think I'm going to hit those chiropractors up and have an adjustment and um, an adjustment. And then also that one of them does acupuncture. So yeah, it's time. It's time. Let's go the other direction. Lisa. Even when you have a contractor that you just know is going to do you right, it's still it's still never going to be finished when it's supposed to. Never ever. I mean, I am more than satisfied, happy, 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 but things are never going to be finished. It, it, it's it no, I don't want them to contract. be optimistic. I want them to be realistic. If you think it's going to take two weeks, say a month. <laughs> and then in my mind, it's kind of like if you are pregnant, don't tell people your due date is at 40 weeks, which is what we give. Tell them 42 or 44, you know, push it out. <laughs> yeah. We finish early. And then right back into the center. And so let's just lean all as far forward as we can. Right? And I've got my ankles right under my knees, right? And I'm going to try to heel toe a little bit in where my knees are coming straight from my hips. So I feel like I'm making a 90 degree with my legs. And as I extend slightly forward, I'm going to pull my low ribs in and engage my core. And I'm going to let my arms drop down to my so we're hanging towards the floor. And so I'm going to do it in three. So I'm going to come three just beyond my legs, right? Three a little bit higher, right? And then three all the way up. And then bring them down. And then sit up. So the deal is I want to fill in my core, right? So let's kind of count. Oh, wow. I can fill in my back. 
right, right in my ribs. So let's count a few times with breath. Inhaling forward, breathing the chest. And then exhaling, drawing the navel black, tucking the ribs in. Let's do a few more. Easily let the chest come forward. Let's do one more. Let's sit up tall, okay? And pull the ribs in, right? So your chest is lifted, your sternum is lifted, pull the ribs in. And now here we go, we're leaning forward, letting our arms just kind of tap down. Right, my ribs are pulled in, my low back is long, and here three times up. One of three, two of three, Three of three, and then all the way down and sit up. Grab your weights. You knew it was coming. Okay. One weight at a time is fine too. I mean, it's going to be hard to do three of three. So don't go all the way if you feel like, yeah, no. Okay. Right? So here, let's get ourselves ready. Let's just do a little slow. Doesn't matter if it's a one weight, a two weight, a five weight. It's weight. It's weight. This too, I can feel the difference in my sitting bones because I've got that extra weight pulling my torso down into the chair. So let the flesh of your bottom really meet the chair, almost like it's melting into the chair. Lift the sternum and then pull the ribs down. Here we go. Let your arms just start to hang from the shoulder, right? Stay strong in your core. And then here we go. One of three. Oh, it's hard. Two of three. Right? Three of three. I may not make it. And then all the way down and then sit up tall. <sighs> that three of three is like, go ahead. Try me. I also want to really, my shoulders are, are tight. I feel like I must have slept on my right side. I must have finished on my right. This is my right neck, shoulder, since I tend to sleep like this. Don't sleep like that. I can't. I can't. All right, so here we go. Let them hang. They stay at the hang. So melt your bottom into the chair. Lift your sternum up, and then now pull the low ribs in. Feel your core activate. As you extend to come forward, the arms are just hanging. You're not working them at all. Length in the back of your neck, that's your added piece of the puzzle. So here we go. One of three, one, two of three, two. Pull the ribs in, three of three. Maybe, and then all the way down and sit up. Whew. So now with the weights just right here, let's walk our head side to side. Sitting up tall. Oh, no, it's the washing machine. It's like it's not Tuesday. Because the dog also looked up like, hey, do I need to go to daycare today? Okay. Right, so here we go. It's just like. All right. Now with these hanging here, just rock your head side to side and notice that difference. Feels a little different with that weight. Yeah. And then back in, just side to side, we feel even. And then let's go one, two, three, directly to the side. So one, two. Your one, two, three can be wherever it needs to be. Three, and all the way down. So I don't want you to go as high, right? So one, two. 
you're not wincing here, but I know you're at your max, right? And then down. So you want to see your max every time. One, two, I'm so close to my max. I can't lift up anymore. Mary, I can see that right shoulder and down, right? You have to see it. Otherwise, you hurt yourself. Let's do two more times. One, two, you're uh -uh, you wouldn't be on your backs and down. You wouldn't be on your backs. It's, it's hard because it's only one side. I know. That's okay. Follow it. Follow it. Let it guide you. One more time. One, two, just a little bit more, Mary. Hold it there. See what I'm now? Bring it down a little. Look at me. Bring it down a little. Relax that shoulder. There you go. Bring it down a little. Even your shoulders up. There you go. One more time. Bring it down a little. That's it. Now your shoulders are almost even. <laughs> I like that. Wiggle it around and then relax. Yeah, I tend to do. You do, but you're also like, I want to do it. I want to do it. So this neck and all of this trapezius really starts to help you. Okay. And then down at your side. So now let's do a bicep curls with our hands in this position, right? So let's just do one at a time. Curl and down. That's all we're going to do. One and two is two. One, two, two is three. Now, the flush of my bottom is melting into the chair, and I'm trying not to round at my mid back, which I am doing. By the way, I can feel it. So, I'm going to lift my sternum up. That's better. And as soon as I lift my sternum up, I feel like I've got to pull my ribs in. So now my belly is working. So before, I was just cheating. Just cheating. I'm going to finish with this one. Two, I have no idea how many we did. So let's let our hands rest. One. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Huh? So I lost count of four. Let's count a cow here because I can feel my mid back. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so good. Let's do one more. Sit up tall. Okay, I'm going to do before we do our other bicep curls, let's put them here. And now let's just go back together for those, uh, what are they called? Doesn't matter. I'm having a blank. So I have to have you guys all went bottom into the chair, sternum kind of lifted. So you have this moving in both directions. And then that rib cage pulls in to fire up the center. And so just both of them go back just a little. And two. Eight, let them hang on the legs and up. Okay, so here we go. This is where we're going to do our up front. So keeping the elbows close, I'm just going to come here and then alternate. Where's your butt? <laughs> Where's your sternum? It's lifted up. Can't help it. I do two more rounds. I feel my shoulders start to help me a little. Try not to let them help. Now we're done. Oof. Okay. So let's put them right here. Put our to the side. Ah, and now I'm gonna just let my see, this is why I need drag needle is on my hips, uh, that greater trochanter, uh, uh my hamstring that connects into my booty, uh, my IT band. I'm broken. 
feel you need to be just both needles. I know someone needs to just like get the needles out and go do 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 do. It's like being tattooed without the decoration. What's the point? But let's see what's going on. I was really feeling it yesterday too. I think I have a magnesium deficiency, so since I don't love to take a bath because I have a bathtub meant for a five foot person, not a six foot person. <clears throat> since I don't love to take a bath, an Epsom salt bath is sometimes hard for me, but I could always do a foot soap. Yeah. And I do love a good foot soap. I might do that today. Foot soap's a little easier. I think I need to take a supplement, like to continue to hydrate. Have you ever taken that calm supplement? I've taken one that um, it's, it's like that, but it's it's, it's different. Yeah, it was just a different uh, different brand. Yeah, I think it's called so, a store or something. That's what I think I need to take because also it'll up my hydration. Yeah. I but I was doing that. I need to get back to that too. I don't like the like all the artificial sweeteners. I just I I force myself to do them um, in the hydration in the higher hydration. Because some, I can I mean, try I'm using done. stevia because people say it's more natural. If it take if it doesn't taste natural, then it ain't natural. Okay, so I want you to watch first. So I'm shifting my butt over. Now this side of my butt is not off of the chair, but you can see the edge of the chair all of a sudden, right? So you can tell that I'm clearly over here. The sitting bone is pushing the edge of the chair. The slunch is kind of hanging off, right? I want it to feel comfortable and I may shift in a minute too because I'm gonna stretch my leg out to the side. So the foot that is here is really, it's in that right place. It's in that 90 degree angle that we've been forming. But the leg that's up to the side, the toes are turned forward and it's extended straight. And I'm pushing through this bone on the, or this muscle on the front of my leg. Um, my quadricep is pushing back through the bone, which is the femur, into the um, hamstring. So I'm really activating this leg. Also reaching to the outside edge of the foot, right? So this is my chair, right? Go sit. Your extended leg looks amazing. Work on this leg, right? Yep, there you go, kind of, because we get a little lazy, right? So work on this leg. All right, so parigasa gate pose is to let your, this whole side be extended and don't press into this leg, but just let it reach down, right? So I'm gonna bring my hand to my hip. So, so there we go. So it's just reaching down. And we can feel all of these muscles, right? Reaching down. Oh, get a good stretch. But then we're also gonna work it. This side feels like it's getting a good work. This mm -hmm. side feels like it's getting a good stretch, right? So this is your good shoulder. Right? This is your good shoulder. So let's pause here. We're not pressing, we're pausing. And then let's take this arm out opposite. Turn the palm up and notice that external rotation of the arm feels so much better on the damn shoulder. Yeah. Right? So now I'm gonna keep reaching, reaching. I don't wanna go beyond my limit. I have to see my limit. Reach, see your limit, see your limit. And now that my arm is up here, do I have any more room? Oh, I just had a natural adjustment. And then come over. So that feels different. I think this leg got a little lazy. When you go back and you watch this video, you'll see, oh, well, that's lazy, right? But I'm so focused on this other side, right? We'll do it again. So now take this leg here for a second and pause here and watch as I bring this leg back. It's not, it's not on anything. And since my booty is hanging off, look at me holding onto my chair, then I can get a stretch in the squad. Is your foot like flat down or toes? My toes just there giving me. Are you having a cramp? See what you see? See what I'm doing to you? Okay. So watch for the first one if you want. I'm gonna lean forward. <laughs> Woo! And I'm gonna do that. One, two, three, and down. Pull everything in. One, two, three, and down. Okay, so let's come out. And now you'll be able to do it. All right, so you gotta watch all the legs, right? 90 on this front leg. Turn my chair just a little. 
Now I've gone all the way where my this movie is hanging off the chair completely now. I think it's going to help me. But 90 on my front. Back leg is not on the floor anywhere, but boy, I have such tight quads. I can so feel it. Hand is holding the chair. So here we go. Lift the sternum, lengthen the low back, pull the ribs in, lean forward. Okay. My arm is just dangling. Here we go. Four times. One, two, three, and down. Re engage your core. One, two, three, and down. Re engage. One, two, three, and down. What is that front foot doing? Re engage. One, two, three, and down. Bring that back. I know, right? It looks so much bigger. I mean, it doesn't look that big, but when you get in it, you're like, that's pretty darn big. Okay. So, you're going to do the second side. Make your adjustments. Yeah, move your chair. Makes me very glad I don't have three legs or four legs. I know, right? My usual. Aren't you glad we only have two sides? So, I'm going to kind of move my booty over just a little so I'm, I'm not uh, hurt myself. My tea stand. So taking that foot out. Close up. So my second best side right here. So front leg is in a 90. Extended leg is strong and active. Moving lots of energy from the front of the leg to the back of the leg and also looking for the outside edge of the foot. Arm, same side, sit up nice and tall. This side does not like it. You're kind of going, right? This side does not like it. So you know that you're almost at your bend. This is your bend, right? Just being up here is your bend, and that's good too. So hand on hip if you can. Not pressing into my leg. I'm just going to lean down a little. I'm gonna try to find my fire. That's almost it for me. I can feel it in my, my ham hock. Now I'm losing it and I'm sticking my butt out. I bet you're doing the same. All right? So press the flush of your bottom into your chair. Lift your low belly just a little. Pull the ribs in. So here we go. Come out. Lean down. Now, this is helping me looking the opposite direction of my leg. That's my leg, so I don't slouch. Hey, Emma. It does help. It does help. And then down. Oh. Hey, Emma. That is amazing. Now let's lean down, hold it down. Here's our arm. Woo. Take it all, just take it as far as it will go. Turn the palm, because that palm. Let you go a little higher. I relax my leg. So engage, re engage your extended leg. Reach it up. And then also re engage your belly. Lengthen, lift. And then take this arm over as far as you can without going beyond your limit. Can you go down a little farther? A little re engage that straight leg. And then come on. Bring this extended leg up. Good. Give your knees a little left. Take a tea break. Make myself a cup of tea today. Tea after coffee. Not before, people. Some people are born into tea families, and some are born into coffee families. And coffee is my family. Always, every time you go to anybody's house, there's always a pot of coffee on it. Never decaf. And it's kind of watered down coffee. All right, so make sure this leg is in its perfect position, right? It's in a 90. It feels good about its 90. And then you're going to take this like that. Holy crap. Hold on to your chair. Say, ah. It's that first, and it's hard for I me. Mean, I can feel it from the bottom all the way up 
across the kneecap, I mean, it is, it is tight, tightness factor. Okay. Now I'm going to lean in. As soon as I slightly tilt my torso, I can feel my, my, um, my core engage. Um, but when I bring my torso up, I feel that stretch in my quad, right? That's how, that's how tight this body is. <laughs> okay. I think we do four. So here we go. Lay your arm and hang at your side. Do as much as your body will let you. And in threes, one, engage your core. Two, lengthen your spine all the way up and down. Okay. One, engage your core. Three, lengthen your spine. All the way up, hallelujah, and down. Here you go. One, engage your core. Two, lengthen your spine. Three, we have one more. We can do this. One, engage your core. Two, lengthen your spine. Three, we're there, we're there, we're there. And come all the way up. Sit on your chair, even up your booty, even up your sitting bones. Uh, buddy, you're all right. All right, so I'm just gonna rock a little side to side. <sighs> now I still feel the unevenness of my sitting bones, right? I still more weight, still feel more heaviness and weight on the side. Hoping it'll it'll work itself out. Okay, so continuing, and we might, if we feel so inclined, we might come back to that pariyasan and that sort of chair lunge-ish, that's a low lunge for me, and add a weight to it. <laughs> but that was pretty hard for you, so maybe we don't. You don't have to do a weight ever, you can always just do it without, because we know it works you. Okay, um, but what I wanna do is, and I'll turn my chair, this angle so we get a better and I'm going to sit my, sit my sitting bones right at the edge of the chair because then I'm going to lean back now always this is my deal when I lean back I stick my butt out <laughs> you know so I'm arching my spine a little so I lean into my lordosis so I'm going to like let the Flush of my bottom, breath, really push down into the chair. So I'm engaging to come back. Right? Okay. So arms here. We're almost in like a boat pose. Large. So we're gonna bring the leg up. Right? What are you doing with your spine? Three, let's go to ten. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Now sit all the way up. Slouch. Oh. Okay. So watch the second one, right? So flush of the bottom down, sternum lifts. Now plug our ribs in. I come back. Woo! But I hold it. Ooh. We come out and back in. Lift two, three, four. And lift two, three, four. Come out, go in. Right? So here's the other element to that. Don't do it the first time. Remember, I've gotten to do it once. I don't even know if my body will let me. My belly is starting to growl. My coffee breakfast is gone. Okay, so let's do it together though. You without weights and me with weights. So flush the bottom, melt into the chair. I'm gonna lift the sternum, but also pull my ribs in. So I feel very engaged. And then I'm gonna lean back. So here we go. Lift two, three, four, and lift two, three, four. Come 
out, go in, and lift two, three, four, and lift two, three, four, come out, pause, because my blanket is, is slipping. And then let's do two more times, just like that. Do you want to add weights? Okay. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm engaged. My core is strong. I'm looking awesome. And come back. And lift two, three, four. And lift two, three, four. Come out. Go in. And lift two, three, four. And lift two, three, four. Come out. And just stop. Nice work. You can. I mean, definitely just holding your arms out there, you can feel your arms. I'm getting a severe cramp right here. Like, I don't think I could stand right now if I wanted, right here. Fire, cramp, maybe fire, cold, stabbing, I'm not sure. Hurt. There we go. And you can feel your core, the legs are fired up. So I love that. Okay. So see, this is what I do in the mornings when I'm having my coffee. I think about what the heck are we going to do today? Since I'm having this fire right here, I think we should do some hip stretches. And the hip stretch can easily work into kind of that lean back simply because I think of it as if we were on, if we were on, um, floor doing bridge pose, right? Uh, and we might have the chair pushed back against the wall to lift up, and I'll demo that, and you can decide if you want to pick on go, too. Um, but I really like for us to be at the wall. But we can do a hip stretch in that pose when we're on the floor. Maybe, maybe on the wall in the chair. We'll see. Okay, so you get to do both sides. You choose which one. I'm not sure why I'm going to go with this leg first. I think this is my second best tip, but I'm so conditioned to start on this side. So I'm just going to give it a little, I'm engaging, I'm lifting it up myself, my leg is, and I'm pushing it up. I'm not using the weight of my hand, right? I'm lifting it up and then I'm engaging to push it down. Three, four, five, six, seven, one more, and eight. Now, let's see if we can give it help. We have to help it. So I don't want my leg to, my, this part of my leg to really move, but I know it will. Come up, up, up. Engage your core, right? little work in the arm, but it's really your core is doing the work. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you can lean forward if you want. This is enough for me. I mean, I don't have any, this is as far as my body will let me stretch here. <coughs> So my dad was kind of in a mood yesterday. My mom was, or mom was in her cheerful. She, she's hilarious. She has got to wear. She loves to have a glass of wine. She was always take it or leave it kind of wine girl. Now she's decided, like she's sending me a text. She's like, open up the wine. <laughs> like, you, you wild woman, you know you're gonna have a glass, right? And I don't exactly pour big. All right, let's switch it up. <laughs> so she said, your dad's in a mood and your sister is sick. Great. But Cindy was sick. I mean, she was, she's, she's burning the candle at both ends. You know, boy, my good leg is tight, right? Maybe this is my second best side. All right, so here we go. Push it down. Do it out. Down. So we didn't play croquet. 
I know, and that's our annual tourney, family tourney. It's croquet, but in yard Yahtzee. But my sister was not. I mean, she actually laid down on the couch. I'm like, just go get in one of the beds. She didn't want to leave the action. But uh, one of the collections here. Yeah. I have to stop. I can feel it in my knee. Like I've gone too far. Three in, or that last, that third one. I could really feel that burn. It's too much. I was reaching my limit, and I don't know if I'll be able to lift my leg at all. All right. So here we go. Gotta remember, use my belly. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Now you can lean forward if you want. Yeah, this is, I think this is my second best side. I think it was lying when I said the other was my second best. So yeah, and then Sarah had to drive back to Houston last night because she has a, a staff, you know, class today. So I'm like, ladies, I made my first pot roast. It was delicious. And I made potatoes on gratin, which were real. I did a quick pickle of radishes and carrots. That was good. And I made this delicious celery and apple salad with shallots. I'm telling you, it. It just helped with that, that and the pickles just kind of helped with the heaviness of everything else. Well, that vinegar, the little vinegar taste on this kind of like these things. And then let's pull the leg down. That sounds good. Let's just sell me. So, shallots, shallots, celery, celery apples, apples celery seed or salt, oh, yeah. celery seed or salt, pepper. Into olive oil, like a good olive oil. Oh, and lemon juice. But it was delicious. It was really delicious. All right, let your arms hang up your side. Ooh. So let's do our usual leans. I actually, I think I wish I had my blocks out. Now that we've had. So let's extend, bring our palm all the way down and come over. And now while I'm here, I have a tendency to lift that cheek out. I'm gonna press that cheek in and also push up off of my block. Over. And I wanna push my butt down and lift up off of my block. So here we go, inhale through the center, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, maybe looking straight on, and exhale, looking underneath the arm towards the ceiling. Inhale. So this is me on my first side, I'm gonna adjust my block to see if I can go down a little farther. Man, so once I'm here, I've got to re-engage, put that butt, the flesh of my bottom to really push down, lift up out of my block, and look all the way up, oh, and then come all the way up, it's a bigger out. And now over here, I'm gonna make that adjustment on my second side. Oh, oh this, this side is like, butt is harder. So flesh to the bottom down, Flush the bottom down. Oh, pushing up out of your block. And here we go. Inhale, come all the way up. It's a big transverse abdominal workout. And then exhale, stretch. What are your legs doing? All the way up. Big. Exhale, stretch. And let's come into the middle and stay there for a second. Oh, stop. I feel like we need one more prop. And I'm seeing them. They're peeking out at me. Although one of them. They really need some juice. Put that between your legs. And they're, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to like air these up. <laughs> Although this feels pretty stinking perfect in this 
non aerodynamic. But now, because I felt like I was getting real lazy with my legs, right? So now this is going to help us engage our core. All right, so here we go. How many do we want to do? Four? I hear you. I hear you. <clears throat> Inhale to center. Exhale, reach. Oh, I forgot I put it all the way down. Inhale through the center. Squeeze your ball and exhale, reach. Oh, that's one. Squeeze the ball. That makes two. I still haven't flattened my hand on my block yet. I'm going to try for this one. Okay. Last set. Inhale up. Oh, let's count it count. Oh. oh. Really helps. Yes. Well, and I felt much stronger too. <laughs> but, but it was because it, it, was mean, it didn't it hurt more. <laughs> because it was keeping the legs together, I could move over. Been strong, so it's been exactly. I knew I was really been working it. Yeah. Right, let's keep the ball here, and let's let's go lift up on the toes and down, up and down, up and down. So here, let's do a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Just lift up and down, squeeze the ball, and work your toes. Really wanted to keep working. We can always get our the weights out. I don't know. Let's experiment. Let's experiment on all the things that we can do. Ooh, oh, oh, oh! Look, your eyes got so <laughs> wide. You're like, uh, uh. So I'm thinking, whenever we put our heels down, we just stretch up. This has this could be it, right? Look where my elbows are. And then we are going to be so sore. <laughs> Actually, our bodies are just going to say, uh, way to go, rock star, <laughs> for burning it out a little, right? <sighs> now, this makes me feel like pause here, just pause for a minute. Right? This makes me feel like, for example, How many do we want to do? I was going to say 10. Okay, I'll do five. Six. Six. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so negotiations had begun. All right, so if this is here, right, then our elbows, we lean forward. Oh, and hold on. See, this is one of the cramps, right? This is why we're doing it. So here we go. Knees down or heels down, arms up. One, two, three, four, five. We have one more, Mary. And six. That's a little. That was awesome. Okay, I want to build on that. This was extra. Yeah. This was not in the plan today. This really helps. So we're going to come back to this. The plan was really, we're going to use it. The plan was really to like use our blocks. Right? And to lean back and to see if we could, with this little engagement, to see if we could lift our feet up off the blocks. Right? That's what I wanted to go for. Between our knees. Like, you want to call out one No, it's going to force you to hold your legs together. Oh. So, so let's start with, let's see. Yeah, let's get this perfect. Or I actually, I have those little um, stools and these tend to wobble on us. All right, so squeeze. How, does, how do I look? You're looking pretty square too. All right, so now 
core, engage the core and lean back. And then come up. So have inhale here. Lean back. And come up. And lean back is two. And come up. This feels different. And lean back is three. And come up. And lean back is four. Six is going to be our magic number. If I squeeze my block when I lean back, it just adds to the yummy. Okay, so now come back, stay back. Except I'm gonna put my hands on my chair legs. I keep scooting my booty back in my chair. So now I'm engaged in my core. So now I'm just gonna lift up to my toes and down. Those are calf um, cramps, up and down. If I squeeze my block, I don't get as many calf cramps. Up and down, four, I'm engaging my core, five, and hold the six. All right, so here it is, Mary. If I really engage my core and, you know, I cheat with my hands, I can lift and down. Let's see here. Cheat with your hands, lift and down. It's right on the neck, tell one that again. You just said you can't and you did it. But I had to move forward. Well, that's but engage, like, Shorten this, right? Shorten this. So here we go. Right? Good. I think we have two more. One more. That's it. If you squeeze this block a little bit more, it helps a thousand times. Get out of your block. Oh, this is what my legs need. Woo! Mm. Maybe even a little back bend. Oh. Push my booty back in the chair. Find that perfect, perfect spot. Shoulder blades. Oh. All time. Collar bones. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, three, three. Steve, ready? Okay, Mary, what do you feel like you would like to have as your last sort of madness? Oh, you know, I'm not gonna let you even tell me. I'm sorry. I was having a moment of weakness there where I was going to let you tell me what you wanted. And we're going to go in and out of the chair because we've done such good work here, right? So, and I'm going to just, I'm not, look how my knees are a little wider than my hips because it just feels better to go kind of in and out, right? That's why all you're going to start is that way. Make sure the knees follow the toes and it feels good for you. Some of us are a little, where we open our feet, a little ballet feet. You can do that if you like. Just pay attention. Just cut out and in. That's two. Six is your magic number. Three. And four. And then stretch my arms up. And five. And up. And six. And down. And now we come up and we stay up. Ugh. Oh, straighten the legs, bend the legs, shift your hips, adjust your feet so it feels better. Do whatever you need to do. Adjust your blocks or don't use blocks. Rock your feet to your toes, right? And then rock your feet back to your heels, right into the meat of the hamstrings, just rock in and out. 
Do one more rock in and out. Boy, did my body need that stretch. I have to do that one more time. I mean, just one more time. So let's just be here for a second. Because I feel like that got into some of my calves. Some part. Not the full cranny part, but yeah, meat of the hamstring. <clears throat> How can we make this just a little more fun? Just to finish it out a little bit. So let's just kind of let me let me kind of go through this. So if we come here, there's one, one two, and then three. Oh, forward bend. And rock to the toes, rock to the heels, sway, 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 and come down. Maybe six times. Let's see. Maybe six times. So strong core, flush to the bottom, heavy in the chair. So one, two, three, and then butt up, rock yourself out. Ah. Rock to the toes, ah. rock to the heels. Side to side. Back into the center, butt on chair, arms in the air. We know the chair is there. And then arms at your side. One, two, three, and out of your chair. Ah. Rock to your toes. Rock to your heels, oh, side to side. In the middle, butt in chair, arms in air. It rides. <laughs> and sweep your arms out, and here we go. That's two. That's one thing right, butt in the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one, two, three. And come out of your chair. Oh. Rock to your toes. <clears throat> Rock to your heels. Side to side. Back in your the center. Butt in the chair. Arms in the air. And arms come down. Whew. All right, that's three. I'm using my weights. You do not have to, well, you should try your weights for one. And then if you're like, you're crazy, I'm not doing that again, I'm okay with that. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> one. Two. Engage your core. Three, and come out. Ah. Rock to your toes. Shift back, rock to your heels. Oh. To the side, to the side, to the center, butt in the chair and arms in the air. Come your side. Was that three or four? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with you. Is it with this or? No, just in total. Four. Four? All right, two more. Are you sticking with your weights? All right, here we go. Strong core. One, two, three, out of your chair. Oh. <clears throat> Rock to your toes. Rock to your heels. Oh, side to side to center. And then butt of the chair and arms in the air and down. One more. I'm sorry, I need to do this. 
I just threw that in because I thought it would be hilarious. Do whatever you want. Here we go. Last one. Make it good. One. Strong core. Two. Extend from the arm all the way. Three. And butt up. Okay. Last one. Make it good. Rock into the toes. Maybe even lift the heels if you haven't been doing it. Heels down, shift that back weight to the heels. Maybe you lift your toes. Okay. Toes down, and now shift all your weight to the right leg. Move the hips to the right leg. Maybe even bend the right leg, I don't care. Back into the center, shift your hips to the left. Woo! Maybe even bend the left. And then back into the center, here we go. Butt down, arms up. Oh, I can really feel my core. Down. So let's put these down for a moment. Whew. Get yourself. I'm going to scoot my booty back and I'm just going to give myself a chance here. Yeah. Cross legs are fun. <coughs> Terrible to cross your legs, but <coughs> only if you switch the cross too. That's okay. Because we always go to the side that feels the most comfortable. The side doesn't feel as comfortable. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just make sure you do both. And then make it up. All right, let's take six breaths. Optimal number for us today. And let's just in, out, in, out, in, out, right? So, big count of four on our breath. So, here we go. Let all the air out. Inhale to a count of one, two, three, four. Hold, release, four, three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Hold, four. Three, two, one. Here we go. One. Last one. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. I just really, I put them in your chair and I leave the chair here. 